What's up everybody, it's your boy Dapper Dub here. Today we're going to be going over a troll video and we're going to be showing the wings today. So we're going to have a showcase of all the wings. I'm going to tell you how to obtain these wings if you can still. Uh, and if not, I'll show you how you could have. Um, <clears throat> pretty much you get to see what they all look like inside of the game, so that's pretty cool. Alright, well without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So, the first set of wings you get in the game are called the Neophyte Wings, alright? So, they have 75 movement speed and 35 glide, and you get these from getting Mastery Rank 10. Um, they're the most basic wings in the game. Uh, we'll just move on to the next ones. The next section is the Mastery Wings, so you get all these from Mastery Rank. We're going to go into the Adept Wings. These Adept Wings you get at Mastery Rank Level 40, so they're kind of like the Neophyte, but they're a different color. They're pretty cool. The next one's called the Master's Wings. Same type of deal, except for their gold, right? You get this from Mastery 110. It's got 100 movement speed, 100 glide. I think every other wing from here on out has 100 movement speed and 100 glide. The next one is the Blessing of Lucille. You get this one at Mastery Rank 400. So these ones actually look pretty cool. They are pretty sparkly, right? They are, the wings are a lot bigger. <clears throat> Getting 400 Mastery will get you these wings. Next, we'll go into the Pinata section. We got the Wings of Love. So you get these Wings of Love uh, from the Romancing Pinatas. You can also now get them... <clears throat> from Luxion too, so sometimes Luxion will bring these wings in. Um, these wings are fairly expensive if you haven't got them yet, but they're pretty cool. I'm a, I'm a fan. Now we're going to the rare wings. We got Stormcaller's wings. <clears throat> these ones look like they have a little electric coming out of your back. Uh, electric little like lightnings and stuff. I like it. It's really cool looking. Uh, you get it from uh, 1500 uh, you get it for 1,500 credits in the store. Um, they're pretty cool. They got 100 movement speed, 100 glide. Wing of Darkness Knight. So these like shoot out purple um, aura behind you. You get these from uh, Shadow Caches. So it's rare loot from Shadow Caches. You can also buy it in the marketplace. Um, they're actually fairly cheap for wings. So they're pretty cool. Neon Night Sky. So to get these, it's actually kind of difficult. You have to do a bunch of different. You have to get a bunch of different things. Uh, you can look up a guide on how to get this, uh, but you can also buy them inside of the marketplace for people that already crafted them. Um, it looks like like a digital, uh, you know, retro digital <coughs> uh, wing in the background. So it kind of looks like I don't know, like you know, Pong or some shit. <laughs> Next is the Wings of Lunacy. The, the Wings of Lunacy, you can actually buy them in the Shadowy Market. Um, they look pretty cool. Uh, they got like a little like branch like star looking things in the back with also the purple aura coming out of them. Uh, they're pretty decent looking wings. Next are the Ladybug Wings. So, these wings look like ladybug wings. I mean, it's kind of cool looking. You get these from, it's a rare drop from Ladybug Invaders. So, that's an event that comes around every once in a while. Um, you could also probably get these from Luxion. He'll probably bring them bring him around every once in a while too. You can also get them in the marketplace if they're still up there. So, search for these wings if you like them. The Radical Rainbow Wings. So, the Radical Rainbow Wings... It looks like a little rainbow wings on your back, and it shoot out a little rainbow aura too. So it's actually kind of cool. You get these from the Trouble Wonders. Um, typically, people get these and they're extremely disappointed because people that are buying Trouble Wonders, they're trying to get a Gonda. They end up pulling these wings. Uh, but hey, they look pretty cool if you're into rainbow stuff. Next is the wings of uh, Unexpected Ascension. So you got these from Turkeytopia. 
Um, you from uh, it's a very rare drop from the turkey stuffing box. You can probably buy these in this in the marketplace if people are still selling them. But they pretty much look like turkey wings coming out from a, uh, out from you. So I mean they're kind of cool looking. I guess it's, I guess it's festive if you're trying to be looking like a turkey. <laughs> Next are the Wings of Shadowy Descent. So these actually took me a long time to get. Uh, they were a rare drop back in beta. Uh, they actually came back out. Um, you can actually get them from Chaos Chest during Turkeytopia. So it was, uh, it was pretty rare to get. I think they do drop them now in uh, Luxion. He brings them every once in a while. Uh, so it's kind of like the dark turkey if you look at it. So it's got like this dark aura around them. Um, they're really cool. I like them. Next is the Victorious Paragon Wings. So, these wings look like uh, like green shards coming out of your back. Like green, like, I don't know, look, little diamonds and stuff growing out of your back. Uh, it's pretty cool. You get these from the Weaver of Wonders, from, and you can buy them with the Fragment of Wonders. Um, I like them. They're really cool. There's three different types of these type of wings. So, they got the Paragon Wings. So, there's three of them. These are the Wondrous ones you get from there. Next is the Victorious. I got these back in beta. They used to be very rare. You used to only be able to get them from playing Capture the Flag. Uh, but now you can get them from the Battle Broker. Uh, I think they're... I forgot how much they cost exactly. It, you can check it out. <coughs> but they're red versions of the Wondrous. Last is the Luminous Paragon Wings. This is the last of the Paragon Wings. Uh, you can get these from the Shadowy Market. Uh, I think it costs Titan Souls to get them or Lunar Souls. <clears throat> but they're the blue versions. So if you like blue, red, or green, hey, this is your this is your, your wings right here. Next is the Wings of the Pegasus. These kind of look like those Mastery Wings back in the 400 Mastery. But you get this one for opening Light Chaos Vaults. And they're a rare drop. Um, I think they look pretty cool, though. Next is the Wings of the Dark Pegasus. So you get these from opening the Dark Chaos Vaults. They look a little bit different than the than the regular Pegasus Wings. So I like these ones a lot more than the regular ones. They got this, uh, you know, like teal looking color and black. And it's coming out with an aura. Um, they look pretty cool. I like them a lot. But now we're going to go into the store section. <clears throat> so the store section, we got the Wings of the Phoenix. So the Wings of the Phoenix, uh, they, there are 1,500 credits in the store. I think you could also get them from a pack. Um, they're pretty cool looking. They look like fire coming out of your back. So if you're into fire, hey, these are the wings for you. Next is the Bloodseeker Wings. These wings look like bats coming out of you. It looks like a reddish aura with these black uh, spikes coming out of your back. They're really cool looking. You can get them for 1,500 credits in the store or... 1500 cubits Next is the zero line wings <clears throat> But these look like uh, I don't know. I feel like they look like a uh, angel wings in my opinion <clears throat> uh, But you can get these for 1500 uh, credits as well and also 1500 um, Cubits I think that Luxion brings these every once in a while too This is the Arcadium Discord, so this kind of looks like, uh, like the other one kind of looked like electricity coming out of your back. This one actually looks like clouds and lightning coming out. Um, it says steam powered science gone bad. I don't know. Maybe it's steam and, you know, energy coming out, but I think they look pretty cool. You can get them for 1500, uh, credits in the store, uh, from the, or also from the Arcadium Expedition Pack. These are the Soulfire Wings. So these look like a, a purplish blue aura coming out with then bones, a little bone action going on there. <clears throat> so it's got like bones coming out of your back. They're pretty cool, I guess. You get them for 1,500 uh, credits in the store, 15,000 cubits. Also from the Necrofancy Pack. Wings of the World Watcher. So you can get these from the Square Necessities pack. Um, 
they look pretty basic to me. They, they kind of just look like uh, gold wings with like little, um, you know, teal looking things on the bottom of them. They're okay looking. I think they're all right. Next is wind tunnel. So this actually makes it look like there's no wings. It just looks like you're flying into the air. You can get these from uh, <clears throat> the Vanguardian pack or the Vanguardian super pack. Or you can get, craft them at the resistor. Um, upgraded resistor over the overlocked resistor workbench. Um, so you can actually craft these. Um, for wings, they're not very, you know, very spectacular. They're more like a, a bear wing where you don't have wings. So it kind of looks like you're just flying through the air. They're pretty cool, I guess. Next, we've got the chaotic ones. These are the sky stalkers. So they're rare loot from chaos chests. Luxion also brings them every once in a while. So it looks like, a, but it looks like, I don't know, like dragonfly wings with eyes on them. They're okay. They're pretty cool. Got the Chaos Butterfly, which is like this pinkish purple aura shooting out of your back. Uh, you get these from the Chaos Chest as well. Uh, they're pretty cool looking. I like them a lot. They go with my costume. We got the leaf, uh, Leafy Levitators. These look like a branch coming out of your back. So if you have like a very earthy looking character, uh, they got branches coming out with the leaves. And it's also got leaf animations coming out too. So they're pretty cool. Also, uh... You can craft these at the Chaos Core Crafter, and you can loot them for the Chaos Chest. The Breezeborn Blossom Wings. So these can be crafted at the Chaos Crafter, and also from the Chaos Chest as well. <clears throat> they look like, uh, I don't know, like a flower coming out, like flower petals. They got a little leaf on the bottom. A uh, little, uh, you know, like light aura coming out of them. Uh, they're pretty cool looking, if you're, especially if you're into flowers. The wings of wizardry. So these are like your wizard wings, right? So you can also craft these in the chaos core crafter or get them from chaos chests. Uh, looks like they got like little symbols coming out of them, um, and they're they're gold with the with a teal uh, wing. So they're okay looking. Wind catcher web wings. So these ones look like a bunch of branches coming out of your back with spider webs. Also, they got spiders coming out of the out of the wings, which is kind of cool looking. So if you use like the spider uh, dragon and you're into like creepy looking stuff, you're like dressing up for Halloween. These are the wings for you. They're really actually creepy looking. Um, I don't like spiders, so it's definitely a creepy looking wing for me. <laughs> um, you can also get these from the Chaos Crafter and also a, a rare drop from the Chaos Chest. The white hot wings. So these look like white fire wings coming out. So they actually have like a little base wing coming out. And then little white fire flames animation coming out. So I think they look actually pretty cool for white fire. Um, it's the only white fire type of wing in the game. So you, get, you can get these from the Chaos Core Crafter and also uh, from the Chaos Chest. So the red hot wings are the exact same thing as the white hot. Except for... <clears throat> It's red, red fire. Um, I like, personally, I like the store fire wings a little bit better than these. Um, so I feel like the fire animation from those store ones are just cooler. Now we're going to go into the Chaos Vault. These are the ones you can actually craft. From the Chaos Core Crafter. Um, these are like digital dragonfly wings, and they that's exactly what they look like. They're, they flap like dragonfly wings, and they look digital as hell. So they're very square and boxy. Um, they have like this very bright green animation. Um, it's also got a little sparkles of, of green in the background. I really like these ones. They're pretty cool looking. Hydrojet streamers, they look like water coming out of your back. So if you're using like a water looking type character, um, these this animation is just dope, man. I really do like this animation. Um, looks like, you know, water just shooting out of your back. You're flying with the hydrojets. It's really cool. Brownie booster, uh, looks like you're shooting chocolate out of your back with confetti. Um, if you're using like a candy barbarian or something like that, this will definitely go with him. So for these three, you can definitely craft them in the Chaos Core Crafter. Uh, they're all three pretty cool wings. 
Next are the badge rewards. So, the pearlescent pinions. <clears throat> so you get this from the obsidian quest completion badge. And these actually really do look like angel wings. The obsidian quest completion is 25,000 quests completed. Uh, so that's actually quite a bit. So you definitely want to try to get these ones. I think it's by quest. I think it means actually dungeons. Um, they're really cool looking. I like them. These are the Aquabatic uh, Elirons. El Elirons? I can't even sp speak. Anyway, this is what you get from getting the Obsidian Fishing Bags. It's 15,000 uh, items fished. So not only do you have to catch fish, but you can also catch boots, right? So it's 15,000 total items. <clears throat> so it looks like seaweed coming out of your back with fish, you know, uh, swimming away animation. These are probably one of the coolest wings in the game. <coughs> Next is the Dark Infinium Wings. Get this from the Obsidian ba Boxes Open Badge. That's 12,000 boxes open. Uh, that's really not that many in the grand scheme of things. Um, but they look kind of cool, I guess. They're like very blocky. They got a uh, purple animation coming out of them. Uh, they got spikes on the top. They're pretty cool. Next is the Midnight Mantle. So you get this for Obsidian Consecutive Days logged in. So if you log in for 45 consecutive days, you get these wings. It looks like a crescent moon with a, a purple wing flapping in the wind. Also, it's got this purple animation on it. It's really cool looking. Next, we got our event wings. So you get these wings from doing events. These are the lively launchers. So you get this from the Shadow Pinata uh, Giants. Um, these are very cheap in the marketplace. You can buy them for dirt cheap. Uh, but it looks like confetti coming out of your back. So they're pretty cool looking. Next is the firework uh, flyers. <laughs> uh, these you get from the Golden Thread Reward 7 out of 7 on the Renewous event. Uh, I don't know if you can actually get these right now. So you might be able to check the market. Um see if they're in there or you i think luxia might bring them every once in a while but they look like a sparkler or fireworks coming out of your back they're actually pretty cool looking next we got the neon hollow wings uh i think you get this from got this from halloween back in the day so they're actually pretty cool looking um i really like them they kind of look like a mask or something in the back or like maybe like one of those butterflies, you know, that has those little eyes on their wings to make them look more intimidating. Kind of looks like that. These are the confetti jetties. You got them from the uh, Renewist 2019 event. Um, they definitely look exactly like pinata confetti coming out. Um, so they're kind of like the lively launchers, but a different color. And then we're going to go into some promo wings. So these wings, uh, not everyone can get right now. Um, this one is the Tailwind Talisman. So I actually got these from a 2017 charity event. Um, they got, you get these ones for donating $250 to the charity. <clears throat> That's no longer active anymore. You also you be, used to be able to get them from the Brazilian translation if you did that uh, on the PC. So pr translated the game into Brazilian. Um, but they pretty much look like the confetti wings, but they got blue, green, and yellow. So they're pretty cool looking. Last but not least, the Balefire Wings. So these are probably one of my favorite wings in the game. I used to get these from being able to uh, claim streamer dream codes. And specifically, streamer dream box one codes. Uh, so if you got one of these from some of the random codes they give out um, as like a, a gift, then hey... GG, these wings are really cool. They're just like the fire wings, except for they're much bigger and they shoot out green fire. I love these wings. They're definitely my favorite wings by far. Right now, they are unobtainable. Um, they don't give you any mastery or anything either. Uh, but hey, they're really, really cool looking. I love them. All right, so we talked about all the wing wings in the game, so I hope you guys enjoyed them. Um, <clears throat> if you guys want to join the Discord, 
uh, uh, my community, the Dapper Dub community. You want to talk with people that also play Trove. Uh, also get a lot of information you may not be able to get uh, in game. Um, I'll have a link in the description for the Discord. So I hope you guys uh, do join that. Uh, if not, it's all good. Um, but if you did like the video, feel free to leave a like. If you want to subscribe, I'm going to be posting videos every day for at least a month or so. Uh, so you get that new content. Uh, you'll be first to get notified for it. Alright, well, that's the end of the video. I hope to see you guys again soon. Adios.